What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul and it's now Wednesday evening. It's ten past seven in the evening. I never took the camera with me to work today. I left it in and just kind of I had my hands full with having a George Hoover which I borrowed from someone in work yesterday to wet back the carpet which is all nice and done and it's all nice and clean now. However I decided I was going to do this type of video tonight as it's something that I do want to talk about because I've made mistakes in the past especially with this YouTube channel of where I've told you something that was going to happen and I realised to myself a few months ago I shouldn't tell you things that are going to happen because if I can't deliver you know it's certain things outside of my control like say someone plans something with me to do something and Unfortunately that thing falls through because of no fault of my own, if it's something to do with them, they can't fulfil it, then it looks bad on me because obviously I can't fulfil what I've said. And then it got me thinking about like certain situations and stuff I've been involved in and I've not recorded. You know, I kind of feel like for that situation I've let myself down in a way. Because that's content I should always be I should always be looking to record whatever's going on, no matter what it is. I should always be looking, you know, I need to record that, I need to record that, I need to record that. I just need to record and be done with. And then it got me looking into like certain situations of things I didn't film. You know, like when I got hit, when I got rear-ended, you know, maybe I should have filmed me reaction and stuff like that. Maybe I should have had the GoPro in the car and be, fil be, be filming all kinds, you know. It gets your mind like thinking about things that maybe could have happened and should have happened. And then it's stuff you could put out to you guys to share that experience. You know, I've had plenty of experiences in the past. And then we go back to a normal video type of thing. And you know what? That always upsets me as well. It's when you get like a great experience and you do something. And you edit the video back. You think, wow, that was superb, I enjoyed every minute of that, I even enjoyed the editing side of things. And the following day, you're trying to think of content you can bring out. It's like every day, your mind is constant. When you're doing daily vlogs, your mind is constantly active all the time. There's certain things I also need to stop doing, like I say now a lot. Like it'll be like, story, 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 and now, or so. I need to stop doing stuff like that because when you're going through the edit and you're having to trim it to get all those aims and ifs, buts and everything out of the video so it all makes sense and you don't look like you're stumbling constantly you know it's it's quite hard especially when you're like it's late at night I'm sitting here I'm editing away I should be in bed because I've got to be up at half five in the morning I'm editing I'm sending emails I'm trying to work to get things done like there's a video that's just gone live today, right now, at 6 o'clock. I basically be, I've been putting that video together for the last three days. And every time I've gone to put it put it together, I've always thought in my head, that's not right. That hasn't worked. It looks crap. It looks not something that I'd watch. That's what I want my videos to be. It's one, I want it to be something I'd watch. Not just you guys. It's something that I'd want to watch. If I've if I seen that on the internet, if I've seen that thumbnail, if I've seen that title, I want to click it and it not be clickbait like obviously you can do clickbait to a certain extent as long as that thing's in the video but for more than 30 seconds certain things about YouTube is crazy but you know what I love the content side of things I love the creation side of things I love making stuff to put on the internet for you guys every single day it does take its toll there's no two ways about it my mind is constantly active because I'm constantly thinking about what's going to happen what's next what's going to go on what's going to come up what's coming next what's happening the next day what can I bring in to this now? What can, how much do I need to spend to get this thing to put on the channel? How much do I need to do this? How much do I need to do that? It's constantly thinking all the time. And that's what I enjoy. You know, there's bigger YouTubers out there who've made a big name for themselves. They've got all kinds of money coming in. But it's not just from YouTube. It's from brand deals, etc. And they've made all this nice money. And they're able to buy things to bring to their channel like new phones and stuff like that they don't have to go to the manufacturer to try and you know make the way in there they can make the way in there to go to the events but then they can go and buy the phone and then it goes down as business expenses and stuff like that you know that's the way that it needs to be 
but when you're not so much a new YouTuber, when you're a small YouTuber, you know, it's hard to get your name out there. It is hard, and I'm thankful for people like Devante Tires for giving me a shot. I'm thankful for people like David, who works for HR Owen and HR Owen, for giving me a shot and publishing some photos on their Instagram feed. It helps me grow because it helps other people find me. And then from there they could click the link in the bio and head over to YouTube, see all the other stuff that I've done. Everything is through a pattern, through a social media algorithm pattern. To get yourself where you want to be. And I'm not saying you know I want to be a big YouTuber because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I used to be a numbers guy. I used to be watching the subscriber count go up and then go down and then go up and then go down. Watching the likes, watching the dislikes, watching the views go up, watching the views go down to normal. You know, it's just, it's, it's a crazy ride, but I'm glad I'm on it. And I'm thankful to the guys like yourselves, who watch the videos, who come back daily, and watch them, and, you know, maybe speak to someone and be like, there's a guy from Liverpool here who does videos, you should check him out, or look at this guy, he's a fool, go check him out. It's stuff like that, it brings people to the channel, it lets people find me, it lets people find me social media accounts, it gets us interacting, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. You know, I mean, you could stand here all day long and go, oh, it's all about the money. No matter what, it's all about the money. These YouTubers now, it's all about the money. That's all they care about. But it's not. It's the, the interaction side of it. That's what I care about now. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I used to be a numbers guy, as I said. I used to watch subscriber count go up, and I used to be looking at the AdSense revenue of what was going to be coming in. You know, and I've watched me AdSense money go from soaring one minute to really really low and like nothing going on for months and then obviously when all them review things go on that also affects me that affects the videos that affects what money i make you know but it's just one of those things and you just gotta i learned a long time ago i can't be in this for the money it's gotta be something i want to do and that's what this is guys this is something that i want to do so that's why i'm doing it but i hope you enjoyed this video I hope maybe you take something away from it, maybe you're going to learn something from it. Maybe those that have started their own YouTube channels who are still quite new to it, welcome along for the journey. That's what it's all about, creating that journey and telling your story. So guys, thanks so much for watching, I truly appreciate it. Give this video a big thumbs up for me, subscribe if you're new, and I'll be back first thing in the morning with a new video. But be sure to check out that Devancy Tires video. It went live at 6 o'clock tonight. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you all later. Take it easy.